There are a bunch of ways to record yourself and your screen with your tablet. Let's look at some of the basics. First of all, we definitely recommend that you use one of these external camera mic combos, like the one I'm using right now. They're going to give you a little bit better quality audio and video than your built-in cameras and microphones. Those things are really small and they're not really meant for high quality, but they're there if you need them if you can't get anything else. Let's look at some of the steps that are really important. Number one, you definitely want to plug in that camera if you're using an external camera. You can also use your built-in camera if you need to. Number two is you need to open the app you want to use to record your video and make sure you have the right camera and microphone selected. And number three is film yourself, troubleshoot if you run into any problems, and edit that video if necessary. Let's look at four apps that I think are really essential for us if we want to record ourselves or our screen. I'm on the Windows 8 platform, so I'm going to go to the Start menu, type in Camera, and open the built-in Windows Camera app. This is a great tool because it allows you to take still pictures and video. So down on the right-hand corner, you're going to see a few buttons that are really important. I definitely want to switch over to video mode if I want to take a video of myself. And then there are two buttons on the left side of that menu that are also very important. Change Camera lets you switch between the different cameras you have on your tablet. It might be a front-facing camera, it might be a rear-facing camera, or like me, it's one of these external camera mic things. Camera Options will let you select an audio device, so you need to pick either the built-in microphone or any external microphone that's in, like attached to the camera I'm using, and you can select a resolution for the cameras sometimes. When I take a video, by touching the screen, or by hitting the space bar. It's going to start recording. Touch the screen again or the space bar to stop that recording. And just like a smartphone, the video I just shot goes into my camera roll. So if I get rid of the camera app, go back to my desktop and open a file explorer window. Under pictures, you're going to see a camera roll folder. Double click on that and there are all the videos and pictures that I've shot. Windows Movie Maker is another great one for just quickly recording yourself and then editing if you need to. I'm going to swipe over and search for Movie. There's Movie Maker. Now you should all have this installed on your Whitfield tablet, but if you don't, it's a free download. Go ahead and Google or Bing or ask Jeeves about Movie Maker and you should be able to find it. On the Home ribbon up here within Win Windows Movie Maker, you'll see something that says Webcam Video. This lets you record yourself and pop that video straight into the editing timeline. Right now it's found my internal camera, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. So I'll hit Record. It'll record me, and then I'll hit stop. It'll ask me where I want to save it, and then it pops it right into that timeline so I can edit right away. Now notice that that's in that kind of 4 by 3 square kind of look. It's not necessarily that 16 by 9 widescreen, so it's a little bit of a lower quality video. Uh, it doesn't fit my widescreen project, but that's okay if you just something, want something quick to record video with. Now there are a bunch of great tools out there that allow you to record just your screen instead of yourself. Um, if you were to Google something like uh, screencasting or screen capture, you'd find a bunch of them. There's a company called TechSmith that makes some great free and paid apps for this. There's two that we're really big fans of and all of you should have this installed on your Whitfield computers. If you don't, stop by the IC and we'll get it installed. But those two apps are Snagit and Camtasia. Snagit allows you to just record your screen and Camtasia allows you to record both your screen and an image of yourself that's kind of set into that screen capture. Um, if you want to walk people through something or use your screen as a stage to kind of bring on different pieces and, and tell a story. Let's look at Snagit first. If I open up Snagit, it's going to give you this splash screen and then minimize somewhere on your screen. Mine goes into this upper right hand corner here. Um, I'm going to hit record and it's going to ask me what I want to record, so I have to tell it I want to record, uh, let's see, this part of my screen. You'll see these orange kind of uh, lines around where it's going to record. If I hit record, it's going to say 3, 2, 1. It's going to start recording and it does a pretty good job of recording a really high quality capture of all the video that you're doing on your screen. I'll hit the key combination. F10 to, to stop that recording and then it opens in the Snagit editor which lets you do some kind of basic video editing with what you just shot. Snagit does not allow you to record yourself into that capture but 
it's got a uh, kind of a big brother Camtasia Studio that has a lot more features. It's the tool I'm using right now to capture both myself and my screen. But if I open up Camtasia Studio, this is kind of an advanced video editor that's a step above in terms of features like a movie maker or an iMovie. And while I'm using the Camtasia recorder to record my screen and record myself, you can record yourself straight from the Camtasia Studio editing suite. If I click record camera on the menu here, I still want to tell it which camera I want to use. Right now it's looking at my integrated camera because I'm using this Microsoft LifeCam. Um, it's going to show me audio levels. If I hit record, again it's going to start recording. You can see it's recording kind of that square look instead of that widescreen look. And this is definitely a lower quality than if you were using Camtasia Recorder or the wi integrated Windows camera. Let me hit stop here. It'll ask me where I want to save it. Just name it something and it will pop it right into that timeline. This window is just asking me what size do you want your movie to be. You can see it's 320 by 240 is the image that it captured, the video of me. Not high quality, but workable if you just want to do something quick. So after you shoot your video, you might run into some trouble along the way. We've got a few basic troubleshooting tips here in terms of if you have jumpy video or your audio isn't that good. There's a few things you can do. You can change your power settings in order to give your computer all the resources it needs to process that video that you're doing. You can change the display resolution, sometimes that helps. We've got really high quality displays on your tablets and, and sometimes the computer has to work really hard to give you a great looking display and great looking video at the same time. So you can, you can give it a break there by lowering the resolution on your display. You can change the camera quality which means instead of with my HD camera here recording 1080p, I can bump it down to 720 or even lower and it should process a little bit better. And with an external camera mic combo, you're definitely getting better video audio quality. That's a quick look at recording yourself and your screen. You can always come by the support center in the IC and we can hook you up with some additional tips if you need them.